first to enter the den is Ranjit Sohal, a retired college lecturer from Wolverhampton who isn't ready to put his feet up just yet. I'm a workaholic. Time has no meaning in my head. I'm likely to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's something bugging me. Our product is so simple. It's simpler than simple. If one of the dragons was to come on board, I think that will become a success. There's no doubt in my mind. Hello, dragons. My name's Rand Sohal. I'm the managing director of Magi Led UK Limited. We specialize in unique LED lighting, and I'm here today to ask for £50,000 for an equity stake of 15%. Conventional down lights are bulky, labor intensive, but beyond that, there are some real serious installation issues. First of all, all down lights, they have these butterfly clips. In order to install the down light into the ceiling cavity, you have to force that and immediately you will end up causing some damage to yourself. Secondly, in order to hold the lamp in place, you have to have a tension spring. This spring is an electrician's nightmare. Soon as you install that spring, it tends to fly off. So the electrician will spend some time looking for it. Our product is nothing like that. It's a plug. It's a plug that you insert into the ceiling. It is very, very easy to pull out. It is fairly easy to install. In terms of its safety, in terms of compliance, it will far outweigh anything that a conventional downlight will do. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Brian, my name is Tuka. You seem to be very knowledgeable in this sector. Yes. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a physicist. Most of my life I've spent in education, but the last seven, eight years, I've been developing my products. Okay, what is MagiLED? MagiLED, it stands actually for Magnetic Applied Global Ingenious Lighting Environmental Design. Wow. But for the rest of the world, it's a lighting and heating company. <laughs> so we are talking about, this is plastic, we're talking about this. Yes. Just one item. That, there are, they should, this, they're actually, in reality, there are three. There is what I call the vertical flexi -led. Right. That will give you light clearly in the straight down. The one that you have there is what I call slanted. So if we had your portrait and we wanted to put some light on it, that would be the purpose of that, for, particularly for sharp accent lighting. OK, so this you can just take out, paint, put it on, and take it out any time. Yes, our total design is, I believe, it's near perfect. A bright start for the West Midlands entrepreneur. But the colour scheme is making Nick Jenkins see red. When was the last time you ever saw a multicoloured light fitting on sale in a shop? I mean, look at that thing over there. Yes. That thing, the, the pink one, it's pink silicon. It would look more at home in Anne Summers. What? I mean... When did you last go into Anne Summers? <laughs> oh, well, that's another story altogether, Peter. It's another story. But, I mean, but it, it, it's... Wh why would anybody want a luminous pink light fitting? There's just no market Any for it. colour that is available in the marketplace, we can produce... I know you any can. Lamp no, to any colour. Look, Ran, you can produce it, yes. but the point that you don't understand is that nobody wants it. I don't know, I'd quite like a pink light fitting in... That's your problem. ..in a room <laughs> 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 um, Ranjit, I think your product is innovative. Yes. It's clearly very quick installation. I, I, I like it. But to be honest, the big issue with your product 
is actually that. The, the template to the cutout tool. The most important factor of a spotlight is its flush mounting capability. Yes. So when you aesthetically look up, you don't see slight gaps between the ceiling board and the light. Yes. And even here with a piece of card, and look, I'm not playing with it, I'm not... You can see gaps. Peter, please feel free to check every one of these. We've had the correct cutout holes. You're looking at a very thin paper. Now, these cutout holes have been cut correctly, and there are a number of models here. Yeah, they have, but none of them have been done with plasterboard. The reason why I didn't, because it would crack and fall apart in, exactly. your, hand. in your hand. Now, in your hand, <laughs> I felt that it, because of the mess it would make there. Ran, when you're demonstrating a product, you need to demonstrate a product in the environment of which it's going to be installed. Yes. And I understand you, it looks pretty, the colours look great. The only thing missing, you need a clamp. I'm the sparky in the house. My husband's terrified of electricity. I don't know what happened to him as a child. I change all of our bulbs. And there's two issues with this. One is the silver clip, which is the easy clip where you just put your finger in, pull the little silver thing in, the bulb drops down, switch the bulb, up it goes again. I don't think that's fiddly. And secondly, as we move across to LED, you change your lights less often. Now, you know, the halogens used to blow for a pastime. Okay. You know, and, and every time I walked into the house, you know, 10% of the bulbs will be down. Now we've got LEDs. Yes. And because we're all going LED, I'm never going to touch that light bulb again. I'm happy to accept... Uh, if it's a valid point, I'll accept it. But I, as my experience is uh, not the same. The entrepreneur and Deborah Meaden fail to see eye to eye on whether long-lasting LED bulbs could soon be the death of Ranjit's business ambitions. Sarah Willingham stepped into the shoes of the consumer and it appears she's not buying it either. Ranjit, you've done such a good job trying to convince everybody, but nobody's even moved a millimetre. And it's going to be really difficult to persuade the consumer with this product on a shelf. I would be perfectly willing to step aside and let the marketeers take it over. The thing is, is that's not what we do. We don't come into a business and just run the marketing department. Of you know, we I... invest in, in people that can take it to the next stage. So I'm not going to invest. I'm afraid I'm out. Thank you. Sarah Willingham takes a dim view of the lighting product and leaves the negotiations. Dot-com impresario Nick Jenkins has been scrutinising the packaging and something's caught his eye. You say that you're an innovative company that designs, develops and manufactures solid-state energy-efficient lighting. Yes. Now, do you have a factory? Yes. What we... No, we, we do not manufacture. Well, well what you we just do, said... It, this, this says that Magi Lead is an innovative company that designs, develops and manufactures. Yes. So you don't manufacture? Under our brand name, we design, we, get, we, we ensure our products conform to European legislation, and then we go to different manufacturers and we simply give okay. them the... OK, so, so do you or do you not manufacture? We you... do not manufacture. We do assemble some of our products ourselves. Then why do you say on your box you design, develop and manufacture? Why did you put the word on it? I'm not a marketeer. No. I'm not a marketeer. It, it's, it's just not investable. So I'm sorry, but I'm out. Another opportunity blown as Nick Jenkins joins Sarah Willingham and declares himself out. Only three dragons remain. Has Deborah Meaden seen the light? Ran, I would love to think that we'd sell some of these, they'd go in the ceiling, everybody would go, wow. wow. That's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And if I believe that, I would be sitting here and making you an offer. However, I can't make you an offer. I'm really sorry, Ran. I, I accept. I, I, I won't, totally accept. I won't be investing. 
we we but have. Let, uh, I know you want to stop me saying those two words. Oh no no. <laughs> if if the no, product. No let, let me just say let me just say those two words. I I won't be investing, man. I'm out. Ranjit, the light fitting is incredibly well designed. Thank you. But. I do wish that you'd brought in some plasterboard so we could have actually seen the product for real. Yes. Because that's the application of which this product is going to be sitting. Of course. I'm going to say that I'm out. A double dragon rejection as Peter Jones and Deborah Meaden end their interest. Only Tuka Suleiman now remains as he had a light bulb moment. Brian. I think you're great. I can only say thank you. I like the product. I love the colours. I could see the selling in Ikea. Have you shown these to anybody? And have you had any reaction from anybody? We have done a great deal of research, including architects, including electricians, and the response has been very, very positive. But have you got any retailer who, who might have seen it and said, we want to buy some right away, when, when will you have some? No, because it is not in the marketplace. But I have absolutely no doubt, none whatsoever, no, no. we will sell. But, Ran, I'm in no position to take that risk. I know nothing about the electrical industry. Yes. I cannot help you with marketing. And because I can't give you what you're looking for, it's a risk. So therefore... We're looking for marketing. I'm marketing, afraid marketing. I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Well, thank you, Derek. Very kind again. A final rejection from Tuka Suleiman. Thank you. And the enigmatic entrepreneur exits the den without the £50,000 investment he was hoping for. Such a shame he didn't bring plasterboard in to demonstrate the product properly. Our product was about innovation, our product was about progress. It was about the future. And I think somehow uh, that got lost. And perhaps that was my weakness.